my wife cross stitched a article and I, that had 14 or so of the most important symbols uh, in Christianity. The kinds of things you would see in stained glass windows, perhaps in a church or somewhere uh, that had spiritual drawings or Christian uh, symbols and emblems. It's one that you don't think about very much, perhaps, but in these times and days, I think it would be useful to look at. I want to hold it up here where you can see it. It's, it's a long uh, tapestry kind of cross stitch. But the one I want to highlight is this one right here. Can you see that? It's an anchor. Kind of a navel. I know it looks like a cross, and there is a cross there. But that at the bottom is an anchor. New Testament talks about the anchor as something that holds us and it stabilizes and connects us into places so that we can withstand different kinds of situations that go on around us, just like an anchor would on a boat or a ship. In fact, the scripture calls the anchor a item that very simplistically put hope the word anchor and the symbol anchor are connected to the word hope that hope is the anchor of the soul your mind your will your emotions i think this is really important especially if you or those around you have been struggling with Hopelessness, a feeling like there's no stability. But there's good news for you today that I bring you. Christ in you, the scripture says, is what? The hope of glory, Colossians 1.27. And not only that, the scriptures talk about that the the anchor of the soul, which is hope, can be something very important in these times. Think about an anchor on a boat. What does it do? Keeps it from drifting, from moving, from uh, losing position. And many sailors sometimes will set the anchor in such a way that it actually puts the ship or the boat into the face of the wind or the waves for position. It also keeps the boat from crashing on the, the rocks. It's, it's kind of interesting that an anchor, unless you're in really clear water like in Destin or some place, fresh water that's really cold water and clear, you don't see the anchor. It's hidden. You see the rope going into the water but that's all you see. You don't really see the anchor at work. I think the scriptures are very clear. <clears throat> Not only is Christ in you, in us, the hope of glory, but this hope that we have, and you don't hear many people talk about hope. We hear about faith. We hear about love. And 1 Corinthians 13, 13 talks about there abide these three, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these, of course, is love, it says. But these three together abide. They're kind of woven together. And I want you to think about, just for a few minutes, just the idea of the fact that we need confident expectation, which is different than faith. Something to think about. I think we need to be aware of it and aware just like on a boat, just like on a ship, you've got to have an anchor to steady and put position, especially in a storm, in the wind, to have that anchor. So think about that anchor. What are you anchored into right now? What are you holding on to? You can't see that anchor probably at work, 
but it's there and it holds us in the place that we need to be held into. The Word of God is also a place where hope can grow. We have this hope, the scriptures say. Just a few thoughts to offset some of the struggles that you might be going through right now. Think about it. Where's your anchor? If you've got it, is it set where it needs to be? Look to Christ and let Him stabilize your situation. A few thoughts during this time. And as my friends in England would say, Happy Christmas. <laughs>